Hey guys, it's RC Siegel here, and today I'm coming up to you with another video on my Axial SEX10. This video is probably going to be a really long one, so be prepared for that. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to completely waterproof the entire car, from front to back. So, some of the materials you need. You need some rain grease. Some plastic dip. and your general tools like pliers, drill, drivers, all that. Okay, so I've already done some of it. I've only done this, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. But um, pretty much I just covered an exposed wire with this plastic dip. And what plastic dip does is it's liquid at first, and then when you put it on to something, once it dries, it shrinks into the shape of the whatever you apply it onto. And it's like a tape, like it just goes on there. It's really hard to come off. Okay, so I'm putting down exposed wires so if like water, they won't get on it. Because you know, if water mixes in with electronics, everything will go haywire. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start off with what kind of electronics I have. Um, I do have, uh, most of my electronics are waterproof, so that really helps you. The ESC doesn't have to be waterproof, you can actually waterproof it yourself with some plastic dip, but mine is already waterproof. I have a Axial A5 ESC in this, and I have a Savox waterproof servo right here. So those I don't have to touch on. So it's not only the wires I'm, um, I'm closing. It's, I have to take apart the transmission, the axles too. It's because the gears in there, once you get into water, you know if water gets trapped in there, eventually it's going to rust. Because there are metal gears in there. Especially in this transmission too. So I'm going to have to take that all apart, use the marine grease, just uh, get a dab of it and like mix it. And it helps it run really smoothly too. And you put it on the bearings and all that. Okay, so right now I'm just going to go around the truck, see if there's any exposed wires, like, see here is like covered by tape, the exposed wires. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that, and then I'm going to apply some plastic dip to it. Okay, now that I've taken the tape off, I'm going to go ahead and get my brush, dip it in some plastic dip and cover it. So you want to get this all over where there's wires exposed. Alright, that looks good. Now let me work, look for more. Alright, so I don't have a waterproof receiver in this, so I'm going to have to take this apart. And I also have the RC4 wheel drive um, worn winch controller. There you go. I just hot glue it onto the receiver box. I'm going to have to dip this in plastic dip too, the entire thing. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to open the receiver box. Go ahead and waterproof that. And um, also a good thing to know is if you're going to do this, you should put some uh, servo extension wires on every single channel. Like just in case you want to um, unplug something or plug something in. Mine are already connected so I'm good but just a little Helpful advice for you guys. Okay. Oh, and 
I forgot to mention, if you might have noticed, but I did get a new camera. It's um, probably going to come out way better than the other one that I had. If you're wondering what kind of camera I have now, it's, a, it's called the Canon Vixia HF R60. It's really nice. It's definitely a good camera for the price, in my opinion. Alright, so I got the receiver out. Double sided tape to the bottom of the receiver box. Okay, now I'm gonna actually go ahead and just try to dip this entire thing in here so I don't have to do it with a brush. It'd be much easier. Just see. See, now it has a thick layer of plastic dip. It's completely covered now. So this is now completely waterproof, the receiver. Nothing will like make it short out or anything. Obviously this is not a guarantee, you know, it's water and electronics. You can always have a situation. Anyways, let me just figure out where to let this sit. I guess. Yeah, it's fine like that. Okay. So, um, there's more tape over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off right now. Then I'll get to you guys later. Okay, now I've got all the tape off. Take my brush. Just gonna dab it on the exposed wires. You don't have to put too much of this, you just need to put enough that will cover it completely. Alright, there's some more exposed wires here.
just making sure I didn't miss any. All right, let me just check if I missed anything. Mm. Oh, there you go, I found something. Well, it's very important for you to not miss any of these. Because if you do, then water gets in there and then everything is messed up. Alright, that looks good. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And everything's dry now with the plastic dip. And I actually did something off camera. What I did is I waterproofed my lipo. And as you can see, it's completely dry. So pretty much I just got it, dipped it in the plastic dip, and should be fine. Make sure it's completely sealed. See, I even got this little area where it was open. It's not open anymore. So this, everything is completely sealed. So this is ready to hit the water. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open up the axles, open up the transmission, and uh, I'm going to put some, put some marine grease. And, um, yeah, I'm going to open up the axles. Let's get my drill. Hey guys, I'm back. And now I've removed the front axle, all the screws about to take it off and keep in mind this has never been removed before uh, from the year and a month of having this truck alright guys so I took the front of the axle off and time to put some marine grease on the gears so here's a diff right here um, so get your marine grease and just get like a dab of marine grease don't get too much, or else if you put too much on the diffs and the gears, it will actually cause binding issues. Alright, I think that should be good enough. Now, you just want to put it all on the teeth. Just put a dab of it on the teeth, just like that. Now I'm going to get the bearing, so I'm bearing on the top and one on the bottom, okay, here's the bottom one, alright, well there's a diff. I'm just going to go ahead and put this back over here and I'm going to spin it so the rest so it can transfer some to the other gear actually let me take this out probably be easier if I just um, put some marine grease on the other gear alright just put a little bit over there Alright, that looks good. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I completely re reassembled the front axle and I actually went ahead and did the transmission and the, the rear axle as well. So, um, I didn't think you guys really need that because it's pretty much the same thing. You just go put some marine grease on the bearings and the gears and you should be fine. So I hope this video was helpful and you guys liked it. I hope this helped you with any info you needed on waterproofing your truck. So um, I guess I'll see you guys next time.